Happy New Year! I hope you all are having a fantastic start to your 2024. I know I am. This is such a big year for me. I am so excited about the things to come. I am getting married next month and then going on an absolute dream of a honeymoon. I am competing at Miss Virginia USA in June and I have a lot of quilts planned. <laughs> so that's why I'm here today to talk about my 2024 quilt plans. Before I go ahead and jump into everything, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I would absolutely be honored if you would. I would love to see you back here again and interact with you and the fantastic quilting community that we have here. So thank you so much in, in advance and let's go ahead and get started. First on the agenda for 2024 is my Ocean Currents quilt. I relatively recently did a video on this and showed my fabric haul from a quilt shop in Freeport, Maine and getting all of the fabrics together to make this beautiful quilt. I was inspired by Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics and it's my first go at batiks so really excited to merge some of my favorite things, quilting and the ocean, with some of my uh, not so favorite things, but loving this one. <laughs> You've heard me talk before about how batiks have not traditionally been my favorite, but I thought for this quilt, they worked so beautifully and I cannot wait to see it fully come together. Next up was a start from 2023, and that is the Fat Quarter Shop Designer Mystery Block of the Month. You all know me, I love blues and florals and somewhat of a nautical theme in a lot of my quilts. And so of course I love Camille Ross Kelly. Don't get me started about how excited I am for her Shoreline collection coming out this year. But I need to finish up this quilt and I believe it finishes in the spring of this year. Um, so still a few more blocks to go and then obviously all of the finishing associated with it. But this will be a much anticipated finish for 2024. Speaking of Camille Ross Kelly, I am going to be making a quilt with some of her fabrics. This is my uh, pattern binder. And so this pattern is called Tidal Crossing by The Quilt Factory. It is a 94 inch by 94 inch quilt pattern. And I am going to be using a layer cake of Nantucket Summer, which was graciously given to me by a quilting friend here in the community. And I have been waiting to use. And so I'm definitely gonna make this quilt, but I'm also going to incorporate some prints from Shoreline because as I said, I'm so excited for that line and I think both will look beautiful together. One more note on Shoreline, the following quilt I have planned for 2024 is the Edelweiss quilt. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I love the florals and the blues and the greens, of course, not surprising to you. Um, so you better believe when I get that in stock notification that is going right into my cart and right to the checkout line. I also love, I know it's a flower, but um, to me it's a little bit of a nod to The Sound of Music, which is one of my favorite musicals and movies. So I love that there are so many beautiful things that I love all together in this one quilt. For me, 2024 is going to be about new experiences. And so I'm trying to embrace some new things. When it comes to style, I've talked before about how batiks aren't necessarily my style and how I've really fallen in love with using batiks in my Ocean Currents quilt. But another area is uh, the Lori Holt lines. And I think Lori Holt is absolutely phenomenal. I think she is one of the most creative and well-respected individuals in the quilting and fabric creation space. I just really think the world of her and um, really respect the work that she does, but her style hasn't necessarily been quite my style. Um, that kind of farmhouse look is not necessarily um, my look, but she has had some things coming out that have really grown on me. And I love how creative she gets with her quilts. It's not just the same blocks over and over and over again. Um, and I'm wanting to dabble a little bit more in applique as well. So the first Lori Holt quilt I'm going to be attempting is going to be the Mercantile quilt. Uh, I believe this is a sew along with her and also I believe Fat Quarter Shop is doing it as well. But I thought these fabrics look so beautiful in this pattern and I can't wait to try it and how beautiful and different will this be. I just can't wait to, to make it and snuggle up in it. The other Lori Holt quilt on my to-do list for 2024 is the Christmas Hometown Sampler, I believe. 
This is a beautiful Christmas quilt and I love samplers. In my cross stitching life, I love to do sampler style cross stitches and I just love how Lori Holt brought that style to life in a quilt. I am trying to make it a goal to do one Christmas quilt a year. So I most recently finished one and this will be my 2024 Christmas quilt. I'm really in the spirit of quilt alongs and blocks of the month this year because I am going to be doing the Kona Solids blocks with their calendar. And Kimberly Jolly actually posted at the end of last year a video where she shared a block of hers and she's challenging herself to only use the fabric in the charm packs and not use any background fabric. So I'm going to be doing the same. I do think that solids, I learned from my lighthouse quilt at least, that they're not often as visually stimulating as patterns or other fabrics are. And so I think this is a great challenge to really keep things interesting and also split it up into a monthly block pace. So really excited to be doing this one. I think the final product is beautiful and is colorful and all of the things that I love to see in a quilt. So this is going to be very much my happy quilt for the year and I can't wait to see how this one turns out as well. I can't wait to see how all of them turn out. Last but certainly not least, I'm going to try my hand at some more advanced applique and this is one of the patterns I picked up in Maine. And I'm going to mispronounce this. I'm so sorry, but I think it's Trafalgar, Trafalgar Square. And uh, this quilt, it's beautiful, has some florals in it with the applique, but also some traditional piecing and a whole lot of borders, which I'm really excited about and hope that it'll speed things up a little bit. Um, but I am planning on using the Flower Girl line for this quilt. I think it has the same spirit as the quilt or the fabrics from the Ginger Grove collection by Nancy Rink from Marcus Fabrics, which is how the sample was made, um, but just has a little bit different tones and colors and things that are maybe more in line with my style a little bit. So um, cannot wait to attempt this one. This is, I'm not gonna lie, this one scares me. <laughs> But like I said, 2024 is the year of doing things that are new and exciting and maybe a little bit scary sometimes. And so I am so excited to embrace all of these quilts. Now, of course, these are just my plans. I'm sure there are going to be fabric lines that come out next year that I'm going to be so pumped about and I'm going to want to do when things might change. Um, there's probably going to be additions. There may even be subtractions. Who knows? Sometimes you just have to put projects away in order to enjoy them another time or ultimately decide that they aren't for you. So we will see what the final result is. But for now, I am already looking forward to what is to come in the year 2024 and of course, what is going to come out of my sewing room. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.